I've come out of the base of uh, Crook's Peak now. I'm taking a slightly quicker route because I'm trying to make up for some time when I took a wrong diversion earlier through a load of gorse and bramble. Um, so I, what I've done, I normally I carry on skirting the wood bit, but today I've come down on a little lane, taking me into um, Loxton Village. Just to, really just to sort of ease my feet, catch up a bit on the... Uh, that it could have been half an hour it could have been 20 minutes half an hour that I I, I, I was going downhill and I had to climb back up through gorse let me buy sit just walk in the middle of the road you can't really say and I haven't done this little road for a while. It's not, it's not what I call really busy, this one, but cars still travel fast, even though this isn't, isn't really like a main road or anything. So like I said, normally, or quite often, I carry on in the wood up there and come out by a hotel, a famous hotel. It's so famous, I can't remember its name. And then come back and join this path. Go over the motorway bridge for a little bit. And then go across some fields to Loxton Church. This is what I'm doing now. This will enable me to... <sighs> catch up. Ease my feet a bit from um, walking in the uneven surfaces for a little while. And perhaps I'll rekindle some energy that I lost as a result of uh, the, the horrible diversion some of which I captured on video so we've got to go down this this road for a little while I've got a feeling we turn right here. I'm hoping so. Over and out. Right, everyone. The road's blocked there completely. They've got loads of electrical works going on. More men in great big, heavy, luminous outfits that they look really hot and uncomfortable in. Hats on. Cool, there could be at least 10, 15 people, men working there. It's all barricaded off, but they they had to get permission for me to come through. <laughs> it was really weird. They had to escort me through two gates. Uh, but I said to them, there's no way I can go back. I said, I've just walked down from the Crook's Peak. So I said, you know, 67-year-old person. <laughs> no, they were all right. They let me through. I'm feeling a bit better now. It's nice that this road's empty, actually. I wonder if they would have let me through if I'd been on a bike. Now you'll suddenly start hearing a lot of noise. M5 motorway. Northbound, Bristol in the north. Southbound. Um, southbound. Well, you've got uh, Burnham on Sea, Bridgewater, Taunton, and the west including Exeter and Plymouth in Devon. It's all moving very well at the moment. See lots of it. It's all moving very, very well. Traffic, you might. I might put them off. And up there, you've got Crooks Peak, where I was earlier. I, I stood right on the top of that. Then I started to make my way down, and I got stuck 
in loads of gorse and had to go back climb but I was probably down to about there I had to climb right back up walk through the woods a bit and then I came out on the road down there and um, the sun's gone in and I'm grateful because after having to walk back up after having to start to walk back up that I uh, I needed to recover folks. Horrible, isn't it? In a minute I'll be in peace and quiet. Hopefully I might have the churchyard to myself and I can have my picnic. The last time I visited they were people tidying it up. There was lawnmowers going and I thought I didn't feel like eating my picnic now. I usually eat on the move but what it is today I have got a nice little, not a lot, I've got cake, I've got crisps, I've got um, chocolate, I've got um, cheese and tomatoes to go with my crisps. Um, that's it. Cake. Never forget the cake. In a minute I'll be turning off and going across the fields to the church. Um, like I said, I've videoed a lot of this over the years different times. Um, I first found out about it when I was about 30 years ago and I was in the army cadets as a sergeant instructor although I did get offered a commission but um, I didn't want to take it that seriously. Well if you know what I mean it was meant more commitment if you were an officer so I, I was just happy doing what I was doing and, and then I um, well I had to bow out anyway because my job was very demanding. So anyway, we go round here and there is a sign. Follow the Buckcombe sign and the West Mendip Way. Bleeding four miles. So it don't sound far. So anyway, I first knew about this little walk when I was with a group of cadets and we were plotting our way from Bleeding Hill to Wells Cathedral. Raising money for Save the Children. Do you know what, the Crook's Peak actually looks different. It's almost as if it's lost a bit of its nose or something. It doesn't look quite so peaky. It doesn't look quite as peaky. It's erosion probably and people climbing up it. One day it'll be flattish but it won't be a peak as such. They might have to build a peak rebuild it <sighs> yeah I always remember the story that was told to me when I was a girl that a body had been found up there of back, and it, the body of a skeleton of a woman she'd been up there and fallen into the gorse she might have been doing what I'm doing right just roaming roam fell maybe hit her head on a rock or something and she had been found for many years I always remember that story. I found that quite spooky when I was told that. In a minute, we've got to find the way across this field. Now, here's a little car. I he sneaked down here to have a sandwich. Right, I'll just turn off for a minute. Going back on again. Going back on again. Oh, I say we got... Um, Never seen it like this before. It's a sign again. I've never seen it like this with the um, maize, the corn, corn on the cob. 
God, it's always normally been grass. I've never seen this before. I've got to walk through six foot tall corn on the cobbler. Hee hee, it's going to be fun, isn't it? Someone's made a path. And over there we can see the church. See? And so far my legs have recovered a little bit now. They were aching after having to climb up in the heat. Crook's Peak. It was an unnecessary walk that I'd done then. It was a diversion in error. Right then. Looks like this is allowed. This is a pathway. I've never... Oh, I have been in um, Corn in the Cobb Fields before. Of course, in the horror films, they get like monsters appear here, don't they? And drag you away. Or you chase... Someone's chasing somebody for her. Yeah, this is quite spooky. Right, turn it off for a minute. Right, back on. Number of small videos I'm doing. As I walk through the cornfield, the maize field, whatever it's called, this stuff. Uh, just looks like it's starting to form inside there, the maize. And be all emerging eventually. Like I said, in uh, 30 years, I haven't been coming here every year though, but most years and uh, I've never seen this before I'm in a maze David Bowie I'm in a maze help <laughs> that's rather nice actually it's nice to have something different different embraced by something different these tall plants Forming a gauntlet as I walk through the field, stand into attention in straight rows. I'm just starting to feel hungry. Do you know I haven't only had sweets so far? I haven't had a bit of cake, a bit of chocolate, nothing. I'm just hoping the church is quiet. So I can sit down and have my picnic. I can just see the church then. There's Crook's Peak. And there's the the maize or corn, whatever you want to call that. Corn on the cob stuff. I think it might be fed to animals. I'm not sure. That's a different experience. Now I did, by doing what I did there, by coming down onto the little lane, I did actually save quite a bit of time. And uh, it was easy on my feet. I've actually caught back up probably now. <sighs> then if I carried on ploughing my way through. <sighs> Over and out for a minute, I'm going to take a picture. <sighs> 